Hey y'all, just wanted to make a quick video here and talk about my pup pup. Um, since it is almost one year since he died, on Monday it will be one year. And so these next couple days are kind of, you know, reliving the final days we had with him, which I made a video talking about. I can link that if people really want to know more about that. Um, morning I cry the whole time so um, yeah like today a year ago was my last Tuesday with him and he was so restless all day you know he couldn't get comfortable he wanted to go back and forth from the bed to the chair to the bed to the chair and you know he just really couldn't get comfortable anywhere and I remember when I said goodbye to him you know I gave him a hug and I said I'll see you next week and you know driving home that night I was like there's not going to be a next week. Like, I just knew. I just had this sense. And then the next day was the 4th, and my father called me that morning. Well, Eric and I, I think we were en route to a job. I forget the time of day. It was earlier in the day. I think we were on the way to a job. And he called me and told me that he would given him 72 hours. And so I was, like, worried because I had a lot of work, and Eric was so good to me. He was like, dude, go home you know, don't worry about this, like, just go home. And I'm so glad he did because I really debated, like, working Thursday and then going home Thursday night, and I would have, you know, not had the same experience if I'd done that. Because I remember, I mean, I hustled, I packed up, like, a bunch of clothes, didn't know how long I was going to be home for, packed stuff for a funeral, and, you know, got home as soon as I could, and I remember, you know, walking into the house, and it was so quiet. And everybody was upstairs, and all the lights were off in the room, in his bedroom. And, you know, I just felt, like, the heaviness of it right away of, like, wow, like, this is really, ha you know, this is really happening. And, you know, that began the whole four days of, you know, him slowly dying. Um, so, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. You know, I'm, I'm in that remembering, reliving place in my mind of, wow, you know, I can't, I just, I can't process that it's been a whole year without him. You know, there's, there's so much that's happened that I wish I could talk to him about, you know. Church, <laughs> losing weight, getting glasses, uh, you know, sobriety, you know, everything. You know, my talks, I know he would be there too if he could. And, you know, I learned some really... A really cool thing this weekend Grammy and I were talking on our way to Pennsylvania which I'm gonna make a video about that but I just don't have the mental clarity to do it this week but um about how well when I came out to them uh, their one of their responses you know over email was you know we've been waiting for you to tell us what's been wrong and I found out that like Grammy wanted to like ask me and ask me and ask me and you know try and figure out what, what was wrong because I was just a miserable person and he was like no like wait you know he'll come to us when he's ready so that you know he always knew something was something was wrong you know and I just what a good what a good good man and uh I miss him a lot and I'm gonna not cry right now because I gotta go get ready for work but I wanted to just talk about, you know, where I'm at and how I'm feeling, you know. Yeah, anyway, hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you next time.